What if everything you think you know about flying is wrong? What if the drone you bought last year, the one you thought was the pinnacle of technology, is already obsolete? You won't find what I'm about to show you on any store shelf. You won't see it on DJI's official website. If you ask them, they'll deny it. But in the quiet corners of engineering labs, in fragmented code buried in software updates, and in hushed whispers between high-level developers, a new name is being spoken. Now, hi. This isn't just another drone. It's not a Mini 5 or an Air 4. This is a reset, a paradigm shift. The Neo 2 isn't an upgrade. It's a replacement for the sky itself. For the next 30 minutes, I'm asking you to forget what's possible. We're going to pull back the curtain on the most significant leap in consumer aerial technology since the first Phantom took flight. And by the end of this video, you will understand why the entire industry is holding its breath and why your current drone might be the last of its kind. Let's tour that's integrated into the drone's frame. The drone's arms, its landing gear, they aren't just carbon fiber. They are part of the battery. But here's the real kicker. The system is designed for hot swapping in the air. Picture this. The Neo 2 flies for 50 minutes on its main solid-state battery. When it gets low, it doesn't just land. It flies to a small, autonomous charging base. It doesn't even have to touch down. It hovers, and a robotic arm swaps the battery in three seconds. And it's off again. But what about when you're not near the base? The patents show something even crazier. Wireless RF charging. The controller itself, the new Smart Controller 3, will allegedly broadcast a focused beam of RF energy. If the drone is within 100 meters, it's passively charging, just by being near you. It won't be a fast charge, but it will be enough to extend that 50-minute flight time to an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. The entire concept of flight time is about to be redefined. It's no longer about how long you can fly. It's about how long your project takes. The drone is just ready. Always. A sensor that sees in the dark. A battery that barely needs to land. This would already make it the most valuable piece of gear you could own. But the third pillar. The third pillar is the one that has DJI's competitors terrified. It's the one that might actually get regulators involved. Pillar 3. Etherlink and the Hive AI. OQSync is incredible. OQSync for will be even better. But they're all based on the same principle. A point-to-point -point radio link. It's a dumb pipe. And it's fragile. Trees, buildings, radio interference, they all kill it. The Neo 2 doesn't use a dumb pipe. It uses a network. Etherlink is a new protocol that combines three signals into one unbreakable bond. First, it uses the next-gen OQSync, but on a new, licensed frequency band that cuts through noise like a hot knife through butter. Range? We're not talking 12 miles. We're talking Horizon Limited. If it can see the controller, it has a signal. Second, it has an integrated global 5G modem. Not as a backup. As a primary. If the OQSync signal degrades, the 5G signal doesn't just take over. It merges. It uses the 5G data to fill in the packets lost by the radio signal. The result is a zero latency, 4K video feed from anywhere in a city. But what if you're in the middle of the desert? No 5G. No radio line of sight. This is the part that sounds like science fiction. The Neo 2 is rumored to be the first consumer device with a built-in swarm satellite transceiver. We're talking a direct, low-bandwidth link to a satellite constellation. This link isn't for 4K video. It's for control. It's for telemetry. It's the get-me-home signal that can't be broken. You could fly the Neo 2 behind a mountain. Your video feed would cut out. But your control link? That satellite link would still be there. You could fly it entirely on your map, knowing its position to the exact centimeter, and bring it back over the ridge. This, this changes everything. Search and rescue. Remote exploration. Documentary filmmaking. The fear of losing your drone is gone. And this unbreakable link enables the final, terrifyingly brilliant part of the Neo 2. The Hive AI. Your current drone's AI is stupid. Let's admit it. It's a follow me mode. It locks on a box and follows it. If you go under a bridge, it slams on the brakes or tries to fly over it. 
The Neo 2's AI is a true neural network. It doesn't just see, it understands. You don't tell it, follow me. You give it a mission. You tell it, I'm going to run this mountain trail. I want a 10 second orbital shot as I cross the bridge, a 20 second tracking shot as I run the ridge, and a high altitude reveal when I reach the summit. Make it cinematic, and it does. It takes off, flies ahead of you, positions itself, and gets the bridge shot. It then autonomously flies through the trees, predicting your path to meet you on the ridge. It's not just following, it's directing. It has studied millions of hours of award-winning cinema. It knows the rule of thirds. It knows leading lines. It knows how to feel a shot. This Hive AI means the drone isn't just a camera. It's your second camera operator. It's your B-roll machine. It's your personal cinematographer. You could, in theory, send the drone on its own mission. Fly to the waterfall. Get three cinematic shots. And come back. And it would. So you take these three pillars, a sensor that sees light in a way the human eye cannot, a power system that makes flight time an afterthought, and an AI connected to an unbreakable global network that can think, plan, and create. This is the NEO 2. It's not a drone. It's an autonomous, creative partner. It will change filmmaking. It will change photography. It will change news gathering, search and rescue, and exploration. But it also raises questions. What does this mean for privacy when a drone can fly silently for hours, seeing in the dark from 1,000 feet away? What does this mean for pilots when the AI can fly better than any human? What happens when a device has a permanent, unbreakable connection to the internet and a satellite network? DJI is opening Pandora's box, and the rest of the industry is simply not ready. This isn't a rumor about a product. This is a warning, a preview, that NEO 2, or whatever they decide to call it, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And when it drops, it won't just make waves. It will be a tsunami. The age of the drone operator is ending. The age of the creative director is about to begin. The only question left is, are you ready for it? The revolution is coming from the sky, and it's being whispered in code. Now, hi. If you want to be the first to know when this ghost becomes a reality, you need to be here. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Because the moment the first real image leaks, the moment the first spec sheet is confirmed, will be the ones breaking it down right here. The future is quiet. It's intelligent. And it's watching from above.